press control y to open solid properties and change the layer name and press ok to create solid layer and in that solid layer you add an effect called cc jaws and now change its completion value to 100 and height to 0 now make a keyframe for the completion and move the timeline forward and then change the completion value to 85 and move the timeline to the end and change the completion value to 100 and then select all the keyframes and easy is them open opacity properties and make a keyframe at the beginning and after some frames lower the opacity to 60 or yeah, something like that and again move the timeline and lower the opacity once again i will change it to 45 and move a one frame forward and decrease the value to 18 and move few frames forward and then increase the opacity to 75 and at the end where black bar animation is completing increase the opacity to 100 there and this is the final result it is similar to previous one but in here we change the direction of black bars movement to 90 degrees like the bars moves vertically for that you have to first create a solid layer and then add cc jaws effect and that change the height value to 0 and completion to 100 and make a keyframe and as i said in the previous one you have to find the location where the zoom is about to begin once you found that change the completion value to 85 and make a keyframe and now move the timeline few frames forward and again reset its value to 100 and then increase them and open graph editor and select the first two keyframes and drag it towards like this to make this even better make an opacity animation like we did in previous and after adding the opacity animation this is the final result And in this part, we are going to learn how to make like blur bars. And these are stationary. We are not going to add any animation to the bars. First, you have to add a solid layer and add CC Jaws effect and change its completion value to something like 88. And then pre compose the solid layer. Now, you have to change its layer style to the adjustment layer and then add BCC lens blur effect. Then change its scale value to 75 and gamma value to 550 now add brightness and contrast effect and lower the brightness value to minus 12 and here's the final result in this part we are gonna make a more graph style black bars animation you add a solid layer like you always did and also add that effect and change the completion value to 85 and height value to 0 now we add wave warp effect and change the wave width to 300 and also wave speed to 0.4 and as you can see there is some empty space that showing the background stage we have to fix that by adding motion tile check the box for the mirror edges and change its width and height to 150 now drag it to the top and now add gradient ramp effect and change their colors choose the colors based on the scene now add drop shadow effect and change the direction to 0 and softness to 12 now duplicate it and change the direction to 180 and go to somewhere in the center and make a keyframe for the completion and come to the start point and increase the value and also move the timeline towards the right side and change the value to 100 now select the keyframes and easy is them and follow the graph and here's the final result this effect is inspired by nico wax in this effect you have to follow the same step and make a black bar that I have shown in the first part and after doing that duplicate the solid layer and open opacity properties and reset the values now select pen tool and draw a shape something like this now add fill effect and change its color 
and now increase the mask feather and make a keyframe for the mask expansion and lower its value and move your timeline two frames forward and increase the mask expansion value and also open opacity properties make a keyframe and lower the value at the end and here's the final result and in this part you will gonna learn how to make this black bar with gradient first add a solid layer and the next is the jazz effect and at the beginning change the completion value to 100 and make a key and also change its height value to 0 and move the timeline somewhere here change the value to 85 and after a few frames forward reset the value to 100 select all of them and then open graph editor and drag them to the left and now add another solid layer and go to shape tool and double click on oval shape so that it makes a oval shape mask on that layer and change it mode to subtract and then increase its feather by a large amount and then add gradient ramp effect change its point location to the left hand right and then change the color select and make a keyframe for the opacity and make it zero and move the timeline to the center and increase the value to 100 and at the end lower the opacity to zero and somewhere around here increase its value by a little and here's the final result and in this part you are gonna learn how to make black bar animations like Neptune for that first you have to add a solid layer then add CC just effect and then change its completion to 88 and also change its height to 0 add a motion tile effect and then increase its width and height value and also add a wave warp effect change its height to 8 and width to 400 and also change its speed to 0.4 and also add roughen edges change border value to 35 and increase its scale to 140 and complexity to 3 now make a keyframe for the completion at the center and change the completion value to 100 at the beginning and the end and select all the keyframe and open graph editor and drag the graph towards the left side to make a simple smoother animation now duplicate this solid layer and at the center change its value to 86 now where add a fill effect and bring that layer to the center by using this color picker change its color something from the seed and then add deep glow change exposure to 1 and radius to 500 and here's the final result